I'm Adam Hooks, the curator of The Books That Made Shakespeare, and I'm here with the University of Iowa's copy of the Shakespeare Second Folio, published in 1632. The first folio was the first book that consisted only and entirely of English plays from the professional theater. The fact that the book was reprinted after only nine years demonstrates that the risky enterprise was a success. The second folio was produced by a consortium of publishers and was printed by Thomas Cutts, who was once an apprentice to William Jaggard. The second folio includes additional memorial tributes to Shakespeare, including the first published poem by John Milton. In this copy, several of the preliminary leaves, including the title page, are facsimiles produced later. Previous owners have written their names into the book and are now barely visible, including William Coates, who dates his signature April 28, 1727. This is the first page of Othello, and the folio text varies from the quarto text of Othello. The folio text has been expurgated, and so the mild oath that begins the play, Tush, never tell me, has been removed from the folio text. This fragment consists of the entire play King John, which at some point was removed from a copy of the second folio. It was once common to repair incomplete or damaged copies of the first folio with pages from a subsequent folio edition. There were four such folio editions of Shakespeare's plays published in the 17th century. In this instance, however, it is likely that these pages were removed in order to sell an incomplete copy of the second folio as separate fragments in order to maximize profit.